EM Resolutions was set up in 2012 to manufacture and supply high-quality TEM support films. Although EM Resolutions is a relatively small company, it brings together a team with more than 50 years combined experience in the microscopy industry. The use of thin metal grids as a means of supporting specimens for TEM dates back to 1931 and they have since become commonplace in most TEM labs. With the advent of the nano revolution, even the finest mesh grids do not provide small enough gaps for many nanoparticles to span. Thus, there is a need to apply either a continuous film or a finer support network so that small particles can be spread and visualised across a grid. At EM Resolutions, we know that for research students and early career scientists, the wide variety of support films available can sometimes seem daunting when choosing the most appropriate support film for a specific application. In our experience, you will often stay with a particular type of support film from a familiar supplier because it is suitable enough for their work or purely convenient. However, they may be compromising on both support and quality. EMR encourages users to know what they are looking for in a support film to ask questions about the different types available and not to compromise on results. Whenever possible, it is preferable to image your specimen without any background support, which can introduce some additional structure. This can be achieved in some cases by using an uncoated grid to support the specimen, therefore allowing it to be imaged over the gaps between the grid bars. However, this is not always possible due to the size of the specimen. A TEM support film is an additional thin film applied on top of the grid and should be used when the specimen image cannot be adequately supported across the spaces between the bars on a standard grid. Although grids are available in a wide range of mesh sizes, with fine meshes as small as 2,000 lines per inch, they can still be too coarse to offer good support for the specimens. Good support is critical to get the best resolution in the TEM. When choosing a support film, there are several factors to consider, such as grid mesh size. TEM grids are available in mesh sizes from 50 to 2,000 lines per inch. With fine meshes, the grid bars take up a larger proportion of the potentially viewable area, whereas with wide mesh grids, the support can be compromised. A good support film needs to span the gap between the grid bars whilst maintaining sufficient support for the specimen. There can be a tendency for any thin support film to sag if the grid bars are too far apart, which can lead to a split in the film. When the grid is in the microscope and exposed to the electron beam, a weak or poorly adhered support film can become unstable, resulting in poor imaging resolution. The next factor to consider is film type. TEM support films can generally be divided into two main types, continuous support films and holy support films. Continuous support films tend to provide more strength and stability under the electron beam. However, high resolution may be compromised due to the background presence of the film. Holy support films provide a means to support specimens over a hole without background interference, which is ideal for high resolution and contrast when imaging. It is therefore key to consider the size of your specimen and the type of support it will require. Here, there is often a compromise between level of stability and level of background interference. The next factor to consider is the specimen type and surface property requirements. It is important to consider how your specimen may react with the material of your chosen grid, such as copper, nickel or gold. For example, in life science applications, copper is toxic to cell growth and a support film on gold is a much better choice for growing cells on a grid. The nature of the grid and support film surface will determine the attraction and adhesion of the specimen being imaged. Surface properties can be especially important when applying suspensions of small particles onto the grid. For example, carbon support films tend to be hydrophobic, whereas graphene oxide support films are hydrophilic. The last factor to consider is the working temperature. Support films can be used in a wide range of temperatures, from less than minus 140 degrees in cryo-electron microscopes to over 1000 degrees in TEM in situ heating holders. Careful consideration should be taken when selecting the support film for your application. EM Resolutions manufactures and supplies a range of high quality support films. There are three types of continuous support film that are applied to TEM grids. Form VAR, carbon and a dual layer film of carbon on form VAR. Form VAR films are ideal for viewing fragile sections in the TEM, particularly for supporting ultra-thin cryo sections. 
However, it can be adversely affected under an electron beam and add significant background structure when imaging. Therefore, these films are best suited for low magnification work. Carbon films provide a thin electron transparent support for viewing small nanoparticles that do not cluster, particularly for studying negatively stained viruses. Film thickness typically ranges between 12 to 15 nanometers, but this can be tailored to your requirements. For example, a thicker film may be required to withstand handling or other pretreatments, whereas a thinner film will be more fragile but will produce less background during imaging. Form of our carbon films are dual layered and hence thicker in general. This means compromising on resolution in return for a stronger, stable film. This is an excellent solution where carbon only films are too fragile to withstand pretreatments or additional processing. Whilst carbon offers a partially electron transparent support and very effective conductive surface for TEM, the basic presence of carbon can present an undesirable background for many specimens, compromising resolution. The use of wholly and lacy carbon films allow particles to span the gaps and be imaged directly without interference from background material. Wholly carbon films provide a range of hole sizes, particularly suitable for suspensions of nano and virus-like particles for cryo-TEM. Lacy carbon films provide a wide range of hole sizes larger than wholly, with very little carbon film between them thus introducing even less background signal. Despite this, they are strong films and are ideal for specimens requiring more rigorous pretreatments, as well as large needle-like or plate-like crystals. All of the films mentioned so far are available in a variety of thicknesses, grid materials and mesh sizes, as well as on finder and slot grids. The approach to eliminating background contrast was further refined by the introduction of regular pattern perforated support films. These support films are ideal for modern automated data collection and especially favoured for cryo-TEM. These perforated support films have a predefined hole size, shape and arrangement. Quantifoil support foils are available in 25 different geometries on a range of TEM grid materials and designs. New ultra-stable gold supports, ultrafoils, allow better 3D reconstructions from less data by reducing beam-induced motion of frozen specimens. During imaging at cryogenic temperatures, traditional carbon supports move, particularly at the beginning of irradiation. This movement blurs images and reduces data quality. Ultrafoil holy gold supports are more conductive and there is no differential contraction between the grid and the foil on plunge freezing. Therefore, there is less crinkling of the foil during sample preparation, resulting in many improvements in data quality. A layer of graphene oxide can be applied over a perforated film where continuous support is necessary. These are the thinnest continuous support films available. Even when only a monolayer thick, graphene oxide is strong enough to span the holes and provide ultra-low contrast support. The ultimate thinness, remarkable strength and thermal conductivity of graphene oxide, combined with the low atomic number of carbon, provides the ideal blueprint for a low contrast TEM support film. Geo support films are almost transparent under the electron beam. The background contrast is less than half of that of even ultra thin carbon supports, opening up new applications and increased resolution for TEM. Graphene oxide is naturally hydrophilic so geosupport films can be used for imaging and analysis of polymeric, macromolecular and biological samples without the need for heavy metal staining. It is particularly useful for the preparation of unstained, vitrified biological macromolecules analysed by cryo-TEM, providing higher contrast and hence higher resolution for structural determination. However, this hydrophilic nature can be readily changed by heating in air if a hydrophobic surface is required. Graphene oxide films are available on holy and lacy supports as well as on quantifoils. Silicon TEM windows are a specialised support film often used for in-situ experiments requiring harsh chemical treatments and or elevated temperatures. EM resolution supplies silicon, silicon dioxide and silicon nitride windows. The membranes are grown on silicon wafers and windows are subsequently etched from behind to leave a thin membrane covering the window. These frames come in various configurations of squares, rectangles and slots. 
Silicon, either in amorphous or porous nanocrystalline form, offers a support film that tolerates higher beam currents than other support films and provides an almost featureless background. Silicon dioxide has similar properties with less tolerance to high beam currents. Silicon nitride membranes can be used with high temperatures above 1000 degrees and have excellent chemical stability, especially to strong bases. Available in varying thicknesses from 5 to 50 nanometers, choosing the best TEM window would depend on the strength of support and resolution required for your application. As well as TEM support films, EM resolutions also apply a large range of other EM products, including focused iron beam grids, SEM stubs, mounting adhesives such as carbon tabs and copper tape, grid storage boxes, stub storage solutions, vacuum storage and calibration standards. Please visit our website for further information and product details. It is our aim to support electron microscopists throughout their career by using our expertise to give them the best service possible, whether this is providing technical advice or working with our customers to provide the best support film for their work. The team shares traditional values of delivering excellent customer service and strives to deliver a range of high-quality consumables and accessories to our customers with a fast and friendly service. We believe our flexible person-to-person -person service makes us the go-to company for EM consumables and support.